Hello guys, welcome to a new video. This is Anupam Pushkar and in this video series we are going to install Apache, PHP and MySQL. Some of the component I have already installed in my previous video series but this is specifically installing Apache, PHP, MySQL and creating one web application which is using MySQL. This video series is very simple. I have not used much complexity on my writing of playbooks. I have neither used the roles, but I make sure that each and everyone understand how we are writing a simple and a plain playbook and how we can reach our goal. The entire setup is going to be in a seven steps. The first thing is to make sure that we have right stuff ready in our hand. The second is to set up the host file on those servers on the target servers which we are going to install the roles. The third step is installing Apache and the PHP. I'm installing both the roles on the same server. The fourth step is to install MySQL server. Fifth is for creating table and the row, first row. You can even do the same using a playbook, but I have done in a very simple format. I have executed the command myself for creating a table and inserting the row. The sixth step is to create a firewall. You can even automate this but I made it very simple I, I just want to show you for creating firewalls or allowing firewalls and other stuff and lastly we'll access the portal and check the connectivity of the same this is the design you might have seen the previous videos so this is an Ansible server client server leave this so this is our web and PHP server so we have three servers I'm going to install role in web PHP and MySQL but in our this short video we are just going to use 1.3 and 1.4 connection, but we'll be installing roles on all, all of them. The first thing what should be in our hand is like the basic setup of a target servers. We sh must make sure that we have a proper network configuration and all kind of a connectivity. We don't have a firewall restriction or any kind of a restriction there. Create SSH. So while logging in to the other servers, we have already SSH connection made. We have proper trust connection between them. And the create a software repository so where we can download the software and where we can copy the software over internet or over FTP or VSFTP, whatever you have a way of installing and copying the software. These are the two host files. The first one is a database and uh, the second one is a web PHP. Uh, these are not a separate file in the same file. We are, we are going to create these two. This is a playbook for Apache and PHP. I'll not go through now this entire one. I'll go through when we are actually executing this playbook. There are a few commands of creating firewall and restarting firewall and other stuff. This is the playbook for installing MySQL. This is the command which I've already written. I don't want to waste time of again going there and doing all the stuff. This is for creating table. This is for uh, inserting the first column. I'm sorry, first row. And this is the HTML file. I know this looks very small, but this is my HTML file, which I have used, which has already all the things configured for getting the database information and presenting in the form of HTML. So let's not waste our time and do our work. So let's log into our server first. Okay, so what I have done, let's first of all, let's create our host file. So our host file is ready. What I have done, I have kept my playbooks, which is under, we'll go to CD. I have created one directory, okay, uh, project 01. So I'll go to project 01. I have kept my, both the playbooks here, installing Apache and PHP and installing MySQL. Let's 
got to okay so what does it do is like it connects to a host which is web php it copy the repository files it install sttpd and it restart the http server it install the php and the required php for mysql if those components are required it's going to use those okay we will even cat install mysql so you might have seen in the previous video uh, the same playbook i have used so it's going to create one folder in that folder it is going to and in this here he's going to copy the repository files install wget it is going to copy the mysql file which is getting downloaded and it is going to keep in the same location slash user slash mysql it's going to install the packages it's going to update the packages it's going to install mysql it's going to start the mysql services it's going to create a demo database some user and restart the services so these are the two primary playbooks i have created let's execute install okay let's execute the first one so guys our installation is done our playbook got executed successfully without anything failure now let's run the playbook playbook install mysql okay okay so all set we are all the job done now the next thing is to create log into our database server okay show data basis so you can see anupam database is already created which we executed from our playbook use anupam and we are going to create our first table okay then we are going to create our first entry okay so we have done the insert you can simply run like uh, select stuff from my guest and you can see if I can see the value you can see that uh, in my guest database sorry my, my guest table I have already the first column already entered here oh my bad so the next thing what we are going to do is we are going to grant the permission so that any server see this is not in your case of your production environment but this is my test lab which I just want to show you I am going to give access to everything but in your case you are going to use specific 
configurations okay okay you can see that following has been done we are going to flush this privilege otherwise it won't be that effective now let's say bye the next job is to do our firewall work Let's exit from this and SSH 2103 because we need to even log into this and check. We are, we are even supposed to do firewall configurations here. So I'm not. Let's TTP. HTTPS is not there but still I'll add that and we'll restart the firewall. Yeah, so guys, uh, we have logged into our server we have done another configuration we'll just log into our server and we'll check is everything working fine or not 192.168.0.103 and we can see our host on server tier 202 and this is the first entry which we have done so this is a plain and a simple example where I have created a PHP file which goes to a MySQL and fetch a data and it shows on a form of an HTML page. So thank you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment. And also do let me know if anything I can improve or the way which I have presented it, it was simple to understand or how can I modify or bring more videos for you. Thank you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe and have a great day.